Hi everybody, so you've got to make a film and you've been asked to make this for a project, for a presentation. Here are some of the things you need to think about. First of all, consider what's the technology you're going to use to make this happen. Are you going to record it on a camera, on a mobile phone, on a video camera? What's your technology? Once you've figured that out, then think about how you set it up in the right way. There are a few things that are really crucial. One is lighting. Everyone gets the lighting wrong when they start off. Make sure the light source is in front of your face so it's shining on you. Often people keep the window behind them. Also try to have a stable light source. So ideally a lamp is the best way to make sure you have something fixed. If you do it with just a window, then the sun may go behind a cloud in the middle of your video and change the lighting completely. So figure that out first of all. Then think about stability, how to make sure your camera is stable, not moving around. Ideally don't hold on to it put it in a tripod if you have one, or just put it somewhere stable on, on some books or anything at all that will make sure that it doesn't move. The third thing to think about is what orientation you're shooting in. So are you going to shoot portrait mode, so you have a kind of vertical look through a mobile phone, or are you going to shoot in, in horizontal landscape mode, which is more like a television? The decision around that will depend on where you're hoping to put the video. For example, on Instagram, it wants a square video, so you can adapt it depending on which orientation you use. On YouTube, on Facebook, many of these platforms use a landscape mode rather like television. But you can also adapt your video for both of those settings depending on what you want to do afterwards. Another key thing is to think about your practice and how you develop your script for it. Now, there are two ways you can go here. One is to have it completely unscripted and spend time just repeating it, repeating it until you get it right, which is also a good way of practicing it. Now, the timeline you spend doing that may be ending up being more than if you have a script written out, but the benefit is that you can, rather like this video, just add lib it a bit, feel quite free, and talk to your camera as if it's a person, rather than feel like you're reading in a bit more of a robotic fashion on the screen. It's also difficult when you've got a script to make sure that the script is also in line with the camera lens as well. So typically if you think about a TV presenter, they have a teleprompter which sets up angles where it looks like the presenter is looking directly at the camera, but they're also looking at their teleprompter showing them what to say at whatever time. My advice is to actually go with the system where you just try to ad lib it and rehearse it enough time so that it embeds everything into your brain and you end up with one take that you're happy with. It's uh, not ideal if you're having to do a stand-up performance and you only have one shot, but each of these techniques can be really useful and develop skills that will help you later on in life. So the other thing I would consider also is about the duration of your video. Think about the platform where you're putting it. Who's going to benefit from this? What sort of patience will they have to go through the video? It might be that you're planning for Instagram and you've got a minute to make something. It might be that you're doing something longer for YouTube. One of the other things to think about is what are the messages you want to get across? Uh, and try not to overcomplicate this. So think about at the most three single messages, and there may be different types of messages you want to get across. You might be wanting to explain something, teach someone about some subject, but also you might have a call to action, something that you want people to do after having watched your video. It might be go and read something or watch a movie or anything at all, C contribute to a, a project fund, for example. Um, if you're trying to explain a scientific concept, try to think about how you animate it. So with this particular video, I've got a green screen behind me. You don't need a green screen. You can use a flat screen or just a flat, blank, clear piece of background that allows you to then remove it and replace it with something else. Uh, and you can also mobile edit. So that's the other thing that's wonderful about this era. You can actually make these edits to your film on the fly with your mobile device, often for free. Now, some applications will have a kind of free access to them, but will have a, a kind of watermark to make sure that it sort of credits the application developer, or you can pay for a mobile editing application just to get rid of that. I'd say at the starting point, just work with a free tool, see what you can develop and, and find some affinity with. I use a platform called KineMaster, which is a great mobile editing app but there are lots out there for different systems. So with all those things in mind, you hopefully should have enough resources to get something really good out of your devices and something that teaches someone about science, but also shows your passion for your subject as well. Developing your online or physical personality on a camera is something that takes a long time. I'm still not completely happy with how I present, but it's a learning process. And I think the first step is just to get over the, the confidence gap where you feel that you just can't do this, or you don't like the way you sound or the way you look, and just to keep doing it. And it might take two, 200, 300 different videos before you actually think, yeah, I'm actually pretty good at this. 
but uh, persevere like anything else. The more that you do it, the better you'll get and the more confident you'll feel, but also the less you'll worry about what others think. Uh, so I wish you luck, I look forward to seeing the results and please do share uh, anything with me on Twitter or Instagram or whatever platform it is you want to use. Take care.